Hi, I am Dr. Sushant Shivaswamy, consultant pediatrician and neonatologist at Manipal Clinics Brookfield and Manipal Hospitals Vathur Road. Today, I would li like to talk about uh, dengue fever in children. Dengue fever is a mosquito borne disease that is caused by a virus belonging to a family of viruses called as flavivirus. These are viruses that grow and thrive in the salivary glands of a particular form of mosquito uh, by name Aedes aegypti. And it is usually transmitted from person to person, from human beings to human beings, through the bite of a mosquito. For example, a person who has dengue fever uh, is suffering from dengue infection. If a mosquito bites him and draws a little bit of blood from him, the, if the blood has the virus, dengue virus thriving in it, it tends to grow in the salivary glands of the mosquito and when the same mosquito bites another healthy person, it transmits the virus to him and cause, can cause dengue fever. As we discussed, the only mode of spread of dengue fever is through mosquito bites. And needless to say, the only way to prevent dengue fever is to by preventing mosquito bites. Dengue fever in children is very similar, the symptoms are very similar to uh, dengue fever in adults and they also are similar to the symptoms of any viral infection. This makes it very difficult in, uh, to diagnose dengue fever uh, sometimes in, without doing the required tests. So dengue typically presents around 4 days to 2 weeks post a bite with an infected mosquito and can present with fever, sometimes high grade fever in the first 3 to 4 days repeated episodes of vomiting, extreme body pain, headache, and later on, uh, body rash. These are signs which are common to a lot of viral fevers and can make the diagnosis of dengue quite difficult. Thankfully, the answer is no. Most cases of dengue fever tend to be a very mild viral illness with a fever for two to three days with complete recovery. Out of 10 children with dengue fever, nine of them do not require hospitalization and would not have any complications uh, due to that. A small minority of them, up to uh, one, one in 10 uh, children with dengue fever, can have what is known as dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome, which is what we should look out for. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is dengue fever associated with uh, low platelet count leading to bleeding complications. And in dengue shock syndrome, uh, children with dengue fever end up having low blood pressure, uh, problem with circulation leading to uh, requiring hospitalization and sometimes organ damage. So any child with fever lasting more than three days, especially in the setting when there is an epidemic of dengue fever, you should be aware about some red flag signs which will ensure that the baby is uh, the baby is taken to the hospital on time. So any child with fever lasting more than three days, any child with repeated episodes of vomiting, any child with severe pain abdomen, stomach pain, any child with severe headache or pain behind the eye, any child with reduced urine output, not passing enough urine, once in six to eight hours, a child should pass urine, if it doesn't pass urine, or any child who has cold hands and feet with extreme tiredness, uh, needs to be seen immediately to identify dengue fever on time and to find out signs of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome. Dengue fever is typically, in most cases when it is mild, can be treated with simple fever and pain medicines, sometimes medicines to reduce vomiting and to ensure plenty of hydration at home. However, in cases where there is complication because of dengue fever, like dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome, the child will need to be admitted in the hospital. A lot of times needs intravenous hydration, IV fluids, uh, might need medicines to improve blood pressure. And in cases where the platelet counts are very low or where there are bleeding, might need platelet transfusions in those cases. However, not all cases need hospitalization and timely hospitalization and timely treatment will ensure that most cases of dengue fever uh, do very well after hospitalization. As we discussed before, uh, dengue fever is a mosquito-borne illness and by preventing mosquito bites is the best way to prevent dengue fever. There are two aspects to it. One is the community aspect, which 
basically involves uh, the involvement of the government and the community uh, uh, organizations ensuring that the common breeding spaces of uh, Aedes aegypti mosquito is not allowed to thrive ensuring uh, good hygiene good insecticide treatment of the surroundings will reduce the uh, spread of the Aedes aegypti mosquito breeding of the mosquito and will reduce the risk of dengue fever personally in the at the family level because dengue fever, the mosquitoes thrive in small bodies of water that are stored around the house, like your uh, water that is uh, what is collecting in the um, uh, flower pots, in small empty containers, etc. around the house. It is very important to empty them. Make sure that you have twice a week, ensure that all the water that is collected around the house is empty. In a child, it is important to ensure that the, the activity of the mosquito is more, uh, at the peak in the early mornings in the dawn and in the dusk in the evening. Ensure that the child has limited outdoor activities during that time. Uh, and when he has outdoor activities, ensure that he is fully covered with full shirts and full pants. Ensure that the child uses a safe DEET based uh, mosquito repellent when the mosquito densities are very high. And at house, make sure that the windows are covered with a mosquito screen and is kept closed, especially in the evenings and early mornings. Also using a mosquito net goes a long way in preventing mosquito bites when the child is asleep. These are the ways in which you can actually prevent dengue fever. And by ensuring that you are aware about the signs, symptoms of dengue fever, and by ensuring timely health, uh, medical intervention, you can ensure that your child passes through this phase of a dengue epidemic safely. Thank you.